Hey guys, Andy here, and welcome to a brand new episode of Q and Andy Japandy, where I answer your questions about life in Japan. So, question number one: What's the weather like? It's wet. So question number two, how safe do you feel here? So safety was actually one of the main reasons I wanted to move back to Japan because when I stayed in America, I largely didn't feel safe in a lot of the neighborhoods that I lived at. But out here in Japan, I don't have to worry about stuff getting stolen, me getting jumped, or even worse, getting shot. So question number three, were there any cliches that were proven true or false? So I just want to preface this by saying that these are based on my own personal experiences and aren't meant to be stereotypes of the Japanese people or expats living here in Japan. But one of the cliches that I often hear about the people living out here in Japan are that they have a very strong attention to detail. And that was one of the things that I liked about my initial time living out here in Japan when I was stationed in Yokosuka. But when I came back, I saw a bit more of an intimate look into life in Japan and find that, you know, at the end of the day, people are people, people are fallible. And while the people here in Japan have a stronger attention to detail than in other countries I've visited, they're not perfect. So they do make mistakes. Another cliche that I heard was that it's difficult to get around in Japan, but it's actually quite the opposite. The train system is very easy to get from place to place. You can just put in where you want to go on Google Maps or other programs like Hyperdia and get around just fine. Oh, and one more cliche before we head on to the next question is that all Japanese food is healthy and you won't gain any weight living in Japan. Well, I got something to say about that. Yeah, I don't know quite about that one, Chief. So question number four. What's unique about studying abroad in Japan right now? Uh... Question number five. Any current events happening? Uh... So question number six. What was the most surprising thing you did or saw? Well, for me, that would have to be being on Japanese TV, but I'm gonna make a dedicated video on that coming soon. And so the last question, question number seven, what advice would you give to another student? So there's a lot of advice that I can give to prospective students who are looking to study abroad out here in Japan, or for those who are fresh off the boat, namely going out and seeing Japan, travel around, meet the people, see the sights, try the food, get out of your comfort zone, because that to me is what the study abroad experience is about. But with the you know what going around, I do want to emphasize to do those things safely. Wear a mask, socially distance, use hand sanitizer, stuff like that. So yeah guys, that's gonna do it for today's episode of Q and Andy Japandi. So if you have any questions about studying abroad in Japan, life in Japan, be sure to leave them in the comments down below in the boobity boops. And your questions could be in the next video. In fact, now we have enough questions to make a dedicated video, they will be. But if you have any more, be sure to leave them down below and uh, we'll get to them as soon as possible. And also, if you're looking to study abroad out here in Japan, my school, Lakeland University of Japan, is offering a referral scholarship. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check the link in the description and uh, we'll continue from there. So with that said, guys, this is the Andy San. Sign up for now. As always, forever. We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.